Well, good morning. And in the studio today with us right now, we have got actress Jeanette Au together with us because, uh, you know, she's got something very special that she wants to tell all of us. Uh, hi, welcome, Jeanette. Hi, good morning, everyone. Good Hello. morning. All right, Jeanette, Valentine's Day was very special. Do you want to tell mm -hmm. us why? Yes, of course, because I launched my first book. It's called Jeanette Au Definitions. Jeanette Au Definitions. Mm -hmm. Well, Jeanette, you've been you're known to a lot of all of us as Singaporeans, uh, like uh, as a uh, the wonderful actress who brought the little Nonya to life. And you <laughs> have know, you, have you been able to live that uh, character? <laughs> I mean, you in your in your stellar career, you've played so many different characters, mm -hmm. but but this is the one that everybody will remember you for. Yes. Do they mm. still point? And go, hey, look, the little Nonya, the little Nonya. Oh yes, especially the... overseas. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Suddenly you have no name. You are just the little Nonya. She's <laughs> Xiaoyang. Yeah, I'm known as that, but. Um, I think it's uh, very close to my heart because um, I've got Peranakan roots. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that was a drama that I really enjoyed. There was a role mm. as well that it was um, very challenging. Well, you've gone on to more roles and right now there's 995 mm -hmm. going on right now. Yes, eh? right now on mm. channel, well, nine, uh, channel, channel, channel 9. <laughs> channel 8, 9, <90. laughs> Oh dear, I created a new channel. <laughs> well, you're talking about creating. Um, this is your new book. I'm looking at it called Jeanette Out Definitions. Mm -hmm. um, why? Why write? Because I've always loved writing and in a way I feel that writing, um, I'm able to express myself a lot better through words mm -hmm. written than spoken. Okay. Yeah, so it's always been a dream of mine to actually publish a book and uh, that's why I chose to write and uh, there are a lot of things in there that's very personal yeah. and uh, you know every time when I do like media interviews I'm always very private so this is a very good way for me to express myself because I know that through writing um, you know my words don't get twisted I know that you know, <laughs> what comes out is what I wrote is that's what true. I meant that's true. and that's how I want my well, more personal things to be like out for people to know well you know it took you three years this is a three-year labor of love <laughs> what, what were some of the most i suppose challenging uh parts in putting this whole book together um well it's actually thinking of the concept and um my first publisher wasn't uh exactly on the same line as i mm -hmm. i was mm -hmm. because he wanted me to you know put more like behind the scenes more juicy bits mm -hmm. more like uh, industry gossips and stuff and i told him that no this is not what i wanted to be mm -hmm. as a writer you know mm -hmm. this this isn't the thing that i wanted to write so uh he kind of said that it wasn't commercially viable mm -hmm. and he pulled out mm -hmm. oh. so i was quite demoralized i was yeah. like oh no what happened you know and uh that was shelved for some time until i had a personal column and I weekly yep. and a second publisher came by and then he he gave me the freedom to write whatever I wanted to mm. and I think it's just about like maintaining the integrity that you know you just want to stand by this belief that you want to write what you want to and it's not you know like compromise because you just want to get published sure. so well hey just who's laughing now right <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> respect respect here yeah, that you know you would you keep uh, all the industry secrets as they yeah. were secrets and, and nobody need know. <laughs> I, I, why do you feel this need to then bear your soul, so to speak, in this book? Well, I guess in a way, I wanted people to know me better because uh, there are a lot of reports where I wasn't even interviewed. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, and a lot of times I read things about myself mm. that I didn't know I was like that. You no, know, I see. Like, <laughs> oh, mm, was, was, <laughs> did I give yeah. such an impression? Oh, yeah. <laughs> did they conclude such things about me? Yeah. So I thought that the best way to start with the book is to like let people know about who I am. Who oh, you really are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess that was a good start and I hope that I can continue writing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got Jeanette in the studio uh, with us. You're very familiar with seeing her um, on TV. But now she's taken to actually penning her thoughts down. So we'll get to one of the common misconceptions uh, about you in a couple of minutes. Now you've seen her on the screens and now you will see the books. There's a special book signing that's happening. And a word has it that these books are really flying they off the shelves. It's like, they've got like wings, you know, like so step right up, step right up, get your Jeanette Our Definitions book right now before they're all completely sold out. Okay, now Jeanette, you were saying that this was an opportunity mm. for you actually to clear out any misconception because mm -hmm. often time mm. you'd open up the papers and hey, wait a minute, did I even say those things? Did I give that impression? So what are some of the misconceptions that you've read about yourself? Um, 
that I've read, actually, there are a lot of times when people come up to me and say, are you from China? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's more direct feedback. Okay, yeah, right. I think because um, they hear me speak Chinese all the time yep. and they don't realize that I can actually speak in English or mm. write English. Mm -hmm. That's and actually your first like, language though, right? Mm, English? Yes, yeah. but because um, I guess they're so used to seeing me on Channel 8, mm. And also, um, my Chinese name Ocean is two words, so mm -hmm. it's very Chinese. I see. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, when and when they hear me speak in Chinese, they feel that it's got a bit of the accent there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So. You're from China. Wow. <laughs> You know, once I was in China and they asked me whether I was from the southern part of China, I said, yes, tapayo. <laughs> <laughs> you would. I wouldn't put it past you. I said, yes, okay. Uh, now, Jeanette, um, you know, we, we had a, we was just talking about your your, your former professor, mm -hmm, um, yes. who's retiring, Dr. KK yeah. Siege. Uh -huh. Now, so that got me thinking, like, you actually did your, your university studies uh, doing theatre studies, right? Mm -hmm, yes. How come then early on you said that uh, you find it easier to express yourself through writing than, you know, through through acting? <laughs> well, actually, um, I would actually say that when I started theatre studies, right, mm. I was very shy. I, I was also more used to dancing. So, okay. you know, I didn't have to like say any dialogue. I didn't have to like perform in that sense. It's just like facial <laughs> expressions and body movements and choreography, oh, you know? So movement. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, in a way, in character, you have your script, you have yeah. your dialogue. You know, you live in this little world and in your character, maybe you can like think of the things that you want to say in character and you just follow the scripts and the dialogue, see? Mm. So, um, like for example, I can do a pole dance very, you know, oh. like, like, you know, I, I have, I had a character who did pole dancing. But if you put me on, on, on that, on that platform, mm. like in Jeanette, like, you know, as uh, Jeanette, as yeah. Jeanette Al, I probably don't dare to do it. I see. Yeah. Okay. So, so easier, what my character yeah. dares to do, I may not be able to do. But what I can do is write and my character may not be able to do that. Oh, <laughs> I see. Wow. Okay. That's fantastic. Now, okay. Now the future, uh, for you, Jeanette, because, you know, it's so many things that you can do or mm -hmm. that you want to do. What what would you really, really, you know, want to try to achieve the next? Like you've acted, now you've written a book. Mm -hmm. What's next? Oh, uh, I really want to go back to stage. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to like do stage productions. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically that's where I came from. And uh, when I first started in the industry, that's... And the end of stage for me. <laughs> yeah, I never had the opportunity, true. Hosan. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, uh, all... Um, Big hint there. All uh, theatre people out there who are listening in, um, Glenn, Ivan, uh, uh, Buntek, oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeanette's available. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what, we have um, a set of these books here. We have two of these uh, autograph books for you. If you can SMS through right now, give us the full title of the book. That uh, that Jeanette has written. That's right. Okay. okay, very simple. GB space the answer. Of course, your name and your IC number yep. to seven two three four six. Well, you know, Jeanette, we want to say congratulations on the book, and you have a book signing that's coming up, right? Yes, the book signing is on third of March, two p.m. at Neon City Kinokuniya. All right, so <laughs> be sure to be there. Okay. All right. Before you go, now this is now the the test. Mm -hmm. Okay. We will let you <laughs> bear your soul completely on air right now to everyone listening in. You cannot think very quickly. Okay? I'm going to give you two choices. You just answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's called quick pick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ready? I'm so nervous. Yes. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Prose or poetry? Poetry. Jeans, dress? Dress. Beach or city? Beach. Hunk or geek? <laughs> Geek! <laughs> <laughs> take note now, take note now, all of you. Wine or champagne? Wine. Love at first sight or one step at a time? One step at a time. Book or movie? Book. Wolfgang Puck or Corner Zita? <laughs> Corner Zita. <laughs> <laughs> Shakespeare or Wu Cheng En? <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> I also don't know, I just found out. Hi, hi tea or brunch? Hi, tea. Okay, right. there you go. Quick pick 10. <laughs> Jeanette Ao bears her soul for you. Remember, the book is already on the shelves in all the bookshops, right? Yeah, all the major all bookstores. Book okay, shops. so I tell you mm. what, guys, you want to get Jeanette's attention, mm. you be a geek, right? And you hang out any corner to the task. <laughs> <laughs> and read my book. <laughs> and read her book. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Jeanette. Thank you. Nine